Should you watch Parallel World Pharmacy, a show that absolutely, I think, took everyone's by storm. I don't think anyone was expecting the show to be as good as it was. People were talking mad shit at the very beginning when I was hearing the people talk about this season's lineup. What a warm, loving uh, embrace of a show. It's just wholesome. This is like one of the ho more wholesome things. It's got a 4.8 on Crunchyroll. It's wholesome. People love it. <laughs> this is a hug, all right? Especially in our world where there just seems like there's just another horrible thing happening every week. We need this. A person that just wants to heal, just wants the world to be okay. And let's get into what the hell is Peril World Pharmacy to begin with. Also, that's such a mouthful. Don't ask for more of me. The story starts like this. An incredible medical scientist dedicates himself entirely to the understanding and the pursuit of health, mainly because he lost his sister to an uncurable disease. He literally works himself to death. And unlike other isekais, when he is reborn into a fantasy world, he is not reborn as himself, but instead inhabits a boy that just got hit by lightning. Now, good news is he didn't just kind of hijack body, uh, he instead merged in some way with said body. Luckily, this boy happened to be the son of an incredible doctor, one that looks after the queen and all of the nobles. And of course, this kid was also being trained to be, of course, a healer. Now, very quickly as you get into the show, you'll realize that, oh, main character is, of course, unbelievably powerful, but they do it in such a good way. Yes, he has some crazy world ending magic. Yes, he can create some crazy things, but the baseline of what it is, he can create any chemical compound that he knows the genetic makeup of. Basically, can he can create medicines and things, and that works out great because of course he ran himself ragged, learning as much as he could about chemicals uh, so that he could try to save his sister. Going back to one of the things I think will catch you off guard, which it did totally for me, is Parallel World Pharmacy he handles power fantasy in a way that I wish so many other shows did. Yes, there are moments where he throws an ice spike and just absolutely annihilates the ocean, but this is something that other power fantasy isekais have done before. What this show does incredibly well is the people around him witnessing these things react in terror, in might, in shock, and in awe. It is incredibly satisfying because this is something that's always seemed like it's missing from this equation of power fantasy is what happens when you do see something, even in your world, to be unexplainable. When clever people see something that absolutely subverts every expectation and they know that there's no way that it could be a trick. And in almost every single case, when the characters around him can't explain what's going on in front of their eyes, they give him the god moniker. They basically say, he must be a god, is what it is, <laughs> let's stay out of his way and be a little terrified. Um, and of course, the main character is the most wholesome ever. He just wants to heal people. He just wants to save people. He doesn't care about uh, aristocracy, you know, ranking, class, as and whatever, <laughs> which is the thing that makes this show so warm and such a hug. But also, he's able, he, he's enabled by the people around him. I'm so over. Uh, constant conflict that makes no sense. Like, oh my god, there's a guy who, who just wants to heal somebody? We'll assassinate the hell out of him. Like, really? <laughs> there's not bigger fish to fry? <laughs> this random guy wanting to heal people is the top of your priority list? What is happening? <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, this show doesn't do any of that. It's just a nice breeze where things kind of move out of the main character's way. For good reasons, pretty early on, this is not too much of a spoiler, he manages to save a very important person, and that important person is now looking out for him. There are plenty of things here with a spectacular magic showcases with crackling and, and awe. There's beautiful threaded together plot threads that have wonderful conclusions, but largely, this is a show. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. This is a show for somebody who wants something nice with very minimal conflict. A lot of the show, I can't ever think that there was a moment where the main character felt like he was truly in peril. I don't even think there was a moment where I think any of the people around him were in peril. I also didn't think there was many moments where the main character was not going to kind of have his way, which to a lot of people might sound incredibly boring, but I was on the edge of my seat the entire time, and I've watched a lot of these. A lot of these where things just happen to work out and it feels quite unsatisfying by there not being a justifiable reason for why it was succeeding. But the main character, his knowledge of medicine, his understanding of humans, uh, and his just background of being a pharmacist as well as a, a, a town doctor, as well as a crazy high profile scientist, a doctor trying to you know make new breakthroughs in, in medicine, etc. Make you feel like, oh yeah, no, this guy's got it. This guy's 100% got it. Um, and backed with the insane power of essentially a god in this world, a uh, hell yeah. It's just a awesome, I would be hard pressed to find people who don't just hyper binge this entire show. 
because it's so easy to watch. Again, this is the kind of show that's for someone who wants a nice chill time with great momentum and pacing. You never really feel like you're slowing down to a halt. The main character's motives are pure, kind, and fun. It also has really cool ideas of like creating magic basically being more complicated and the reason why this main character is so damn deadly and powerful is because he has the backing of a, a deeply clever scientist slash medicine pursuer whatever uh, and his understanding of chemical compounds gives him an absolute insane edge and seeing him basically start to slowly mold the world uh, and be in the line with people's best interests even though corruption and people's motives or whatever it's still nice to see him basically meld around the world for the better and again i wish so many other isekais did the whole reacting to the main character's power in absolute shock and awe i think it just gives it so much more intrigue and interest uh, it's probably one of the many tactics shown in this in the series which keeps you on your toes and wanting more and another thing that's amazing is i'm not going to spoil it but the ending is so conclusive and nice it does feel a little like and it's over but it does conclude it doesn't like uh, uh, you know next time on whatever um although potentially high probability that the show will get sequels because it was beloved but the unfortunate thing is also is that it probably will be three or four years from now. Uh, you see, there's not a lot of source material, it seems like, to make another season, and that always is like a huge chunking thing to get through. But also, there's plenty of ways that they could take this series. Again, I think if they really nail down and know what it makes it special, which is it's kind of relaxing, chill, but yet interesting, it's, it's, it's just a mix of calm, but then add some spice on top to keep you engaged, like people reacting to his might and, and freakish understanding etc but alas ladies and gentlemen i think this show is made for people who want a chill anime that has incredibly cool ideas that looks gorgeous and is also not galactic it's a very simple show of a person re literally running a pharmacy but then it makes it interesting by him literally making new medicines every single day being wholesome and kind to to people of every shape and size from people around the main character being in awe of his might and cleverness and and all of these things makes it like a boring premise, but with really cool, interesting pieces, incredibly satisfying <laughs> and really enjoyable to watch. Again, I'd be hard pressed to find anyone who doesn't make it through the first two episodes, not to just marathon this thing right to the end, because it's one of those. <laughs> it's definitely one of those. I would highly suggest this show. Give it a watch. It's incredibly interesting and just frankly, again, blew me away. I think most people who watch this show were not expecting it to be this good. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. If you want to know if Fruit of Evolution, God, that's hard to say for me, is worth a watch, check this video out over here. Thank you kindly for your time. Hope I can see you again. Consider subscribing because I'll talk your ear off to the end of time about anime. Thank you again and goodbye, guys.